ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Role Play Fallout 3. In the last one, we helped the Brotherhood of Steel overtake Adams Air Force Base, wiping the Enclave from the Capital Wasteland and securing the Wasteland for our Project Purity. Now we've journeyed to Project Purity to see how everything's going. Hey there, Rory. Hey, talk fast. I hate it when I talk to customers. Yeah, you Go, man. Yeah, see ya. See ya. It looks like they're keeping the place pretty well stocked. I mean, hello. Of remnants remain, but hey there. Hey there. It looks like the scavengers are now selling water. Let's take a look. If the price is right, make me an offer. Okay. And they're not selling any water, actually. Good for you. I appreciate that. I gotta get Bye. That. So, dog meat, fox, and <coughs> Henry have come back just to uh, make sure that everything is ah. and Rory to make sure that everything is a-okay. This is our father's legacy hat, after all. What's up? If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run. Thanks, Scribe. Night. We've got this area locked down. Well, good for you. Must have tracked us down all the way from Paradise Falls. That is wild. Maybe we'll run him over to Little Lamplight. If he absolutely refuses to leave. Huh. Ammunition boxes. That's practically our building. No use talking to me. No use talking to the boss either. Oh well. Guess you're out of Hello. Life. The boss is in one of his moods again. Oh. Well, I'm not 100% sure it's safe to go to the moon show up. I hope I get my job. Hey. I'm handed to you, kid. That was a brave thing you did, risking your life to start the purifier. But, do you know? You've made my life a living hell. I'm guessing not. The hero of the wasteland probably has more important things to worry about, don't you? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, who, who are you? I don't think that we've met. Excuse me, I'm Bigsley, and I'm just a tad stressed out. Perhaps you saw that little line outside my door? It does sound like you do have your hands full. Everyone was so excited about that purifier. Project Purity this, and Project Purity that. But did anyone stop to ask, hey, what are we going to do with all that clean water? Well, guess who gets to fill in that tiny detail? It, 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 it'd be one thing if I had support, but that, that little war with the Enclave has depleted much of the Brotherhood's resources. And to top it off, I have to be mommy to a bunch of lab coats. Well, is there anything that I can do to... Lend a hand? Lighten the load? Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. Eh, task for any accolade, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. Okay, how can I get paid? Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some... Uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. 
They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. Okay. Well, what's the deal with Rivet City's cannons? Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be you know, a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can offer them. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. Okay, and you think maybe maybe Katana's trying to what con you out of no water? I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look, if you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Sure, yeah. I happen to live in Megaton, so I'll be helping myself out, really. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm sorry I can't offer you any support in this. All our resources are uh, tied up at the moment. Good luck. Oh, and uh, of course I'll have a little something for your efforts, if you're successful. Yeah, stay safe out there. Yeah, you too, Bigs Bigsley. But I do have some questions about the Project Purity operation. By all means. I'd love to answer some questions. I've got nothing better to do. Where's Dr. Lee? She apparently decided to pursue more interesting projects up north in the Commonwealth. The real reason? She couldn't handle us scribes improving upon her work. She's the kind of woman who needs to be in charge of everything. Good luck to her out there in the wasteland. It's a long walk to the Commonwealth. Can't say she'll be missed. And you didn't send her with an escort? Okay, uh, so do you know why they call it Aquapura? Um, because it's not irradiated? Really? You couldn't work that one out for yourself. Fair. How long do you think it'll take to purify the entire base naturally? I don't think anyone really knows the answer to that. It seems to be going rather quickly, though. Ever think about letting people bring in empty bottles to fill up? Sure, you can imagine the chaos if we just let anyone who wanted to wade into the basin and fill up a jug. Frankly, there just isn't the time or the resources to deal with that crowd control nightmare. Well, is it hard bottling out of the water, or are you doing it by machine? Take a bottle, you dunk it underwater, and glug, 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 it fills up. Amazing. But you're right, a machine would help, but all the scribes are busy reverse engineering Enclave gear. A machine that puts water in bottles just isn't on anyone's priority list at the moment. Well, hopefully it will be soon. Okay, well. There may be other matters to discuss, though. <sighs> okay, okay, look. I've gotta go. Maybe we'll talk later. If I'm lucky, I might be able to get some work done. Tell me something I don't know. Thomas Jefferson, founding father. This is where everything led. Okay, let's head on out. Hey there. Hello.
All right, let's head on out. It's time to head to Rivet City. It's about 612. Now, just because Project Purity is online doesn't mean that the wasteland is any less dangerous of a place. But look at that. That is encouraging. And already, we got an issue with Meyer Lurks. Oh. All right, then. Okay, we'll protect the waterway. So, we'll head on over to Rivet City. Rivet City, oh. Very This is worse than latrine duty. The purified water's killing all the Meyer lurks living in the basin. Lucky me, I get to pull out the floaters and roast them. You may want to stand back, unless you've got a strong stomach. Oh, wow. So they can't live in irradiated water. Okay. Maybe we just... It is good to be back in the wasteland. Let me tell you. Look at you, Rory. You got a weapon now. Good job. Uh, so maybe we take a little bit of sun come up. I mean, we can really do that in the city itself. All right, boys, come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> yeah, the Tesla cannon. I have to put that up. That's just way too big. City. I wonder how life's improving here. Welcome. Uh, we pay caps or beer. Complimentary guards. Oh, look at that. Water caravan check-in stations. Look at that. Sit down. Grab a beer. It's free. Uh, yep. We'll get on out of here as soon as we're done drinking up this free booze. Driving water is dangerous. Want to get liquor? Interesting. Back off. I'm not looking for any trouble. Water caravan check in. Great. Another water beggar. Officer Le Pelletier. If you're looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. Yeah, that's why I'm here, actually. Bigsley sent me. Oh, 
Oh, he did? Huh, I was beginning to think he forgot about us. Not sure how much you know. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravans. Seems organized, and not just the random raider or mutant encounter. I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. I want to get to the bottom of these coordinated attacks. The sooner, the better. Yeah, it does sound like you can use some help. So what do you need? Great. I can really use a strong arm on this one. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If, or rather when, they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. You sound pretty certain this particular caravan is going to be attacked. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. Well, that's me. Okay, well, if we do get attacked, then I do find a ringleader, then we'll... After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations and put an end to it once and for all. Okay, I'll protect the caravan and track down the attackers. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. Oh, right now. Okay, all right, well. Uh, we gotta go. What's River City getting out of helping the Brotherhood? At first, it was a win-win. They paid us and shared their technology with us. The spoils of their war with the Enclave were particularly enticing. However, with all the recent attacks, the extra resources end up being used just protecting the caravans from being exterminated. Yeah, well, I have some questions about my mission before we head what out. What do you need to know? Uh, where exactly did you say I was going to catch up with them again? If you head north following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry. We'll head out right now, thank you. Fine. All right, we gotta go. No time to rest, I guess. Oh, it is a brave new wasteland. It'll be good to see what normal looks like for DC people getting healthier, people will be more liable to take care of themselves. Okay. It's easier to just get this way. Then maybe the Brotherhood can start recruiting from the local population and push into DC. After that, I don't see why they couldn't clear out the mutants, especially if they start to attack Vol 87 directly. You stop the breeding grounds, you stop the new mutants. feeling that's easier said than actually being done. Alright. Now, we just round the corner. I don't know why they would be sending a caravan out at night. If they can get most of the traveling done during the day, that's better. This isn't a very good route. Yeah, exactly. Mutants.
enclave. So, who dropped the plasma rifle? Spare laser rifle. Steak. Okay. Hi, I'm Split Jack. I'm recording this because I figure half you idiots can't read for shit. But you best don't lay this tape around just anywhere. If you're listening to this, it's because one of my boys thinks he can trust you. If he's wrong, you're dead. If he's right, you're going to be rich. Got us a plan, see? We hit the water mules with the Brotherhood busy fighting the Enclave. Soon they'll want to give up the whole delivery thing. Then we offer our protection services. Wasteland's dangerous and all. We charge them steep. On top of it, we sell the water to whoever we want. Want in, ride out with the next ambush, stash the water when it's done, the regulars will show you where, and then get up to Grandma Sparkles. Grandma loves visitors and keeps her mouth shut. With that, she cooks a mean steak. So that's where we meet. Wilhelm's Wharf. It's on the river. Don't get lost. Oh, and memorize the passphrase. It's a Ah, fire alerts too. We won't be forgetting that, will we? Sleep a couple hours and head over in the morning. We've never really checked that before. Dukov's place. Interesting. Oh no, this is Dukov's place. Keep your weapons holstered or get shot. Okay. Let's 
keep on going. You see these all over now again. I wonder what it means. Nothing good. Stew, huh? Old Grandma Sparkle. I'd hate to know that you were orchestrating this. yet I see you need some trading of course I'm interested in trading always need bullets takes damn near a hundred of them to kill a guai oh thanks you watch out for guai they're all over they sure are grandma what are sparkle at? what are you looking Sp at? split you jack they're all over. who the hell are you Say nothing. You an idiot or something? I don't got much like for idiots. You better know the passphrase, asshole. Yeah, it's my lurk stew. Okay, you're lucky you knew that. Don't know who let you in and really care. This is a real simple game. Whoever's the toughest sets the rules. And that's me. And I got just one rule. Do what the hell I say when I say it. Now find a seat. We're waiting for some of the boys to get back. Oh, and quit this all. We're a gang. We all wear the same uniform. So what's the score? No one told you? It's simple. We hit water caravans and stashed the Aqua Fura. And after Rivet City's had enough, we offer our wasteland protection services. Then we control the water. And we charge whoever, whatever, we want for it. How do you like that? Yeah, they're not going to pay you to protect something they're already giving away for free. I'm the boss of this gang. We do what I say. Don't forget that. 
Yeah, sure. You know what? It's time for someone else to take charge. You and me right now. Time to die. You got a death wish? Fine by me. Knives, pipes, or boards? Knives. Great. Here's a combat knife. Use that and only that. I get hit with something other than that or by anyone else, and my boys join in. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. Hey, talk fast, eh? Yeah, Grandma Sparkle. You wanna explain what you were doing? You again? Y'all interested in trading this time? <laughs> no, but I do have to go. Y'all come back now, you hear? You're insane. Okay. Uh, I just wish I knew where they were stashing the water. But it's free, so. Eh. Okay, we'll head on back. Let's see if Three Dog has anything to say. I suppose not. I wonder, is this water clean? No? Just the tidal basin. Crazy, this place is still burning. It's a shame the uncle they've got Liberty Prime. We could have mopped the floor with all the mutants in DC. Here. Oh. Ah. 
Yeah. That's about time. Maybe I'll keep a hold of the fat man. <laughs> I will say it doesn't matter how many times we use it. The Chinese assault rifle is always just such a winner. clean. Yeah, you can actually tell the difference in the water. Hey, Fox. Waters of life. Now you're the one cooking fish. All right. What a time to be alive. Rivet City. Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? Yep. I got him split jack. Not to worry, he's dead. Really? That's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. And what do you mean you'll make arrangements? Yes. Well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your effort. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, yeah. Well, hey. that'll happen. Not a huge deal. I'd like to check on Underworld, actually. Then we can head back to Megaton 
and then deal with Bigsley once we're finished with all of his assignments. Now from Anacosta crossing, we would need to go to Metro Central, right? Seward Square, Museum Station. Mall outposts. Museum station. Okay. our nation's capital. Fanta oh I sure hope your arm hurts. It's a miracle this guy's alive. Quite frankly. the museum. Alright. Underworld. What a quiet place. The 
amazing Aqua Cura. Aqua Cura guarantees your hearing will come back. It's better than a fact. It's science. Amazing. Simply amazing. Friends, have you stopped combing your hair? Afraid of pulling out the few remaining plugs? Well, fear no longer. Cast your gaze upon my luxurious coiffure. And now, you too can get your hair back with the amazing Aqua Cura. Guaranteed for your final caps back. Who would have thought? Having trouble seeing? Got a little something in your eye? Rinse it out with the amazing Aqua Cura, and you'll instantly see why it's the only product you'll ever need again. I can't believe it does all that. <sighs> That's wonderful. Have cap straps, friends, or relatives? No need to fret. Simply sign up for our friends and family referral program and get deep discounts on bulk orders of the amazing Aqua Cura. What are you waiting for? Sign up today. It's well, hello there, smooth skin. Step right up. Have you come to savor the great taste of the amazing Aqua Cura? Is that any different from regular Aqua Cura? Wow. Have you heard otherwise? No, I mean, you just changed the name. Did you do something to it? I changed the name to help ghouls realize its amazing properties. And well, just between us, I've also added a few secret ingredients to enhance the flavor of the original. So it's not exactly the same, it's better. Care to procure a bottle? Got a free sample I could try? A free sample, you say? Hmm. Well, I normally don't do this. But for you, for this one time only, a very special VIB promotional offer. Ladies and gentlemen, ding, ding, ding. We have a new winner in our daily Aqua Cura sweepstakes. Here you go, sir, your free bottle. Step right up in the next five minutes and get your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura at half price. Ladies and gentlemen, half price. The amazing Aqua Cura cures all the... Aqua Pura? Aqua Cura? I hope there's nothing wrong with your Aqua Cura. Remember, all sales are final. Um, now, how can I help you, dear returning customer of mine? Yes, I might like a bottle of your Aqua Cura. How much are you actually selling them for? Well, friend. How much would you be willing to pay for such an amazing product as the amazing Aqua Cura? Many would pay 50, 75, even 100 bottle caps for such an amazing product with such an amazing guarantee. But for a limited time only, I am able to offer the amazing Aqua Cura for an introductory, exceptionally low price. Care to take a guess at how much? I don't know. 40 caps? No, sir. Try again. Lower. 30 caps. Wrong. Try again. Lower still. 20 caps. Nope. It's insane, isn't it? How could I sell it for any less? But I can, and I will. Try again. Lower. Could it be 10 caps? Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. For the low, low price of just 10 caps, you can walk away with your very own bottle of the amazing Aqua Cura. Yeah, well, if I had 10 caps, I might buy a bottle. Oh, I didn't realize you were so poor. Well, tough break, kid. Maybe you can find someone who can spot you the caps. Isn't it awful? If you'll excuse me, I have real customers waiting. Yeah, real. With your real product. Step right up. Step right up. One and all. We're going to have to do something about this guy. Tell us more. Did you manage to scrounge up the 10 caps? It's a small price indeed for the amazing 
Aquacura. You know, I'm not really interested in buying your Aquacura. Well, well, well. If you aren't here to buy the amazing Aqua Cura, what are you here for? Pit Boy? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm curious. Where did you get all this Aqua Pura? Really? What's it matter to you anyway? I'm not interested in making trouble for you. I'm just curious to see where you got the water. All right. Keep your mouth shut about it. The Brotherhood's happy just giving the stuff away, right? Well, they drove me out claiming ghouls don't need fresh water. Well, big surprise that when I offered to pay for it, next thing I knew, I was talking to Scribe Bigsley, the guy in charge of the whole shebang. Didn't really want to, but on principle, I wanted to prove that ghouls are worth the cost, so I paid him. Now I'm stuck selling this stuff. Good thing whatever they put in it to kill the radiation also undoes the radiation damage to ghoul physiology. Thus, Aquapura becomes Aquacura. Now, pit boy analysis <laughs> shows that your aqua curia is irradiated. That's interesting. Ah, uh, what? That doohickey on your wrist says the water's irradiated? That's a pretty fancy device if it can know something like that. But clearly, it's uh, misinformed. You should get that fixed because it's definitely giving you false information. Clearly, up to something. And there's no denying it. You need to talk now. Oh, all right, all right. But if you start blabbing, I've got some buddies with itching trigger fingers. So I've got this little operation taking Aqua Pura and replacing it with regular crap. It's not like it'll hurt us ghouls. The Aqua Pura I'm storing to sell back to humans later. You know, raiders, outcasts, etc. The guys the Brotherhood doesn't share with. I'm not a bad guy. I'm just trying to help. The Brotherhood needs me. My caps mean water for the wasteland. Just ask Bigsley at Project Purity. And you care to tell me where this little water operation of yours no, is located? not really. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have customers that need my attention. Mm. Having trouble concentrating? Tired of dry mouth and other side effects of this habit? Bigsley. Nothing good. Don't let the snap get you. Oh, Tulip. You're back. Um, wow. You're really back. What do you need? Does uh, Crowley come in here a lot? What's his angle? I'm not going to rat on a customer unless you, you know. What? Oh, a bribe? Well, why didn't you just say so? 20 caps. Ooh. Big spender. Well, it's better than nothing. Crowley has been outfitting himself for some big expedition. He's up to something, but he isn't saying what. Let me see what you have for sale. If any of the armor fails to protect your life, I'll give you a full refund. Oh, yeah. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Thank you. Come back soon, please. <clears throat> Good to see you. 
Good to see you. Hello. Hey, Snowflake. Good to see you again. You ready for some more of the old snip snip? Why not? What do you tell me about Crowley, though? I know he doesn't sell jet. Bastard. You want to know about Crowley? Go ask Quinn or Greta. I don't follow the gossip around here like they do. Uh, all right, well, how about a snip snip? All right. A full head of hair to work with. What should I do? I think that after a couple weeks and more in bed, we'd have a little bit gone. Let's see. Probably not the smooth wave, but we'd probably be rocking a, at least a clean cut. And the beard. Another satisfied customer. Thank you. Remember, no charge. Nothing at all. All right. We. Everything around here is always fun. Oof. Can't ever get a break. We need to talk with Bigsby. But we need to make it back to Megaton first. Uh, there's always something. Okay, so if we... What is that? Uh, we, I pretty much know the old route back. Well, pretty much. We'll go through Museum Station. Yeah. We'll definitely try. to Metro Central. From Metro Central we can cross into Foggy Bottom, which would be it really So we can try Foggy Bottom. But we've got to get to Central Station first. Alright, let's see here. At Acosta. Metro Central. Okay. That's interesting.
Come on, Rory. Get out of my way. All right. Come on, Fox. Okay, thank you. All right. Foggy Bottom Station. Metro Central. Okay. Let's mount Foggy Bottom. I don't know that we've actually been in here. Well, we sure have. Georgetown, though. Westbound Arlington. That's a quantum. Come on, Rory. If we just stay cool, we might make it. This is any faster to go Arlington way. Potomac Tunnel. on new ground.
better. Yeah, they do, Fox. Yeah, they do. Georgetown. Which is great. Yeah. We're gonna still try to make our way. Good boy, dog mate. Alright, we're well, gonna have to keep moving. Westbound Arlington Station. Alright. That's a body. Which means Raiders. Fantastic. Had to have been some friendly people. Yeah. Friendly. Arlington Utility. I'm back down into the muck. Oh, Rory. Uh, you should have quit following me. Okay. We surely haven't been down here.
Got him there. This is a whole lot bigger than I thought. Raider City. Yeah, for sure. Chinese pistols. Okay. We've mapped out the majority of the place, actually. Races. Beds. Time is it's about nine. At night, anyway. Uh, let's clear the place out for the rest of it. Get some sleep and head out in the morning. Here's the exit. National Arlington Cemetery. All right. Well, we'll go back and hit some, get the hay. There's no one else down here. And if there is, well, we live here for tonight. I think that's a really good place to end the episode for today. Okay. So, without further ado, as Henry and Fox and Dog Meat settle down for the night, just take off our helmet here and see our handsome hero. We will call this episode done. If you enjoy the content that we put out here on the channel and like to watch live, consider giving me a follow here on twitch.tv slash jefftheNarrator469. Or if you prefer to watch on YouTube, you can always find me there at jefftheNarrator. I upload all the VODs as soon as I'm done recording them, so it's not very long between being caught up on Twitch and being caught up on YouTube. Alright. Not the comfiest place, but we've got a solid roof over our head. Plenty of food for dinner. 
what else can we ask for? So, it's Henry takes a bunk, and Fox and Dogmeat find their own accommodations. We'll end our story for today, but until next time, boys and girls, wastelanders, raiders, keep telling stories.